keep living the adventure. Axis of Awesome. What's up, adventurers? Welcome to another collection close-up. Today we're going to be looking at two of my vintage Fisher Price Adventure People sets. Can't wait to share these with you guys. Stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. So here is our first set. So this is the Fisher Price Northwoods Adventure set. Now I had this as a kid. This is one that I got at an auction up the road several years ago that my son plays with. And I absolutely love this set. I love this as a kid and it's just as cool today as it was back in 1978 or so. Um, the set itself comes with a really cool Jeep, uh, a canoe, two figures, a tent, a uh, outboard motor and a couple paddles now the cool thing about this set was the jeep actually came in i believe two different colors a yellow and a green um, the figures were some of the neatest parts of this set so this figure here i always considered him to be some type of american indian i uh, love the stocking cap i uh, love the whole decor with the green uh, outdoor pants and the high boots uh, and the cool uh, i guess henley style top uh, and the other guy that came with it was an older gentleman with gray hair and a really cool um, outdoor set of clothes as well. Uh, you got these really cool paddles that fit in the two figures' hands and a really cool outboard motor that goes on the canoe like so. Pretty rad. And the figures would fit in the canoe have these two little slots for the feet. You can just slide their little feet in there and they would canoe away down the river. The neatest thing about these Fisher Price Adventure People sets was they're a really good, I guess, bridge between the G.I. Joe Adventure team <clears throat> and the smaller style figures. I really like the Fisher Price Adventure People as a whole. I think I had most of the sets as a kid. Uh, I did. I played with those more than anything when I was growing up until GI Joe came out in 1982. But I used to have a lot of really great adventures with these guys. And, and the best part about some of these sets were the functionality of them. So the canoe here, there was an elastic band, and the canoe would fit right on top here of the Jeep. And then you could take your gear and throw it in the back of the Jeep and your two figures could drive on down the road. And also the Jeep had a uh, little tab in the housing of the wheels that allowed it to make a cool motor rev sound. Another cool part about this set was the tent. So it came with this really cool tent. You could take it apart and uh, set it up and your figures could uh, hang out in there. I don't believe it came with a sleeping bag, but uh, I really love the way this tent was uh, designed. I wish we could find something like this for G.I. Joe. It'd be neat if the guy could take this tent apart and uh, scale it up and make a cool G.I. Joe tent. These head sculpts for these figures were also used in several different variations. Like uh, this figure here, I believe his head sculpt is in the deep sea diving uh, figures body as well and uh, what a great set the fisher price northwoods adventure now a lot of you guys who follow the channel for a long time know that i did a really cool little photo story with these a while back and uh i'll post the link to that in the description of this video i know at one time ed from action figures and i were riffing back and forth back in the old days and ed wanted to do a really cool one six scale version of the adventure people i still think that would be great if somebody was able to do that and uh, i think it'd be a wonderful thing uh, for a kid to grow up and play with because uh, a toy line like this definitely fosters the imagination all right guys here is the daredevil stunt van set this is the second of my two complete adventure or fisher price adventure people sets i own this is a great set i had this as a kid as well and had a lot of great adventures with this set uh, the set came with a really cool van, which is a repaint of the Action News van from Fisher Price. It featured uh, some several really, really cool accessories. The van had similar wheels to what was used on a lot of the other Fisher Price sets. It also had the motor rev sound in the van as well. 
they have this really cool airbrush style bird on the side, very groovy, very 70s inspired, and had a place for the figures to sit as well. Cool front. The back would open up to reveal our motocross rider. Um, all the accessories to this utilize the three number, uh, I don't know if it's an area code or what, 318. I'm not sure what it stands for. I guess if I looked that up, I could probably find that out. But uh, this is a repaint of the motocross set from Fisher Price that they had back in the 70s it was a green and brown version also comes with the repaint of the motocross rider however there's no sidecar with this i did have the motocross and sidecar and i used to put it in here a lot as well but this figure was really cool um, he had his knees which are articulated here to ride the bike and you can sit out in the dirt all day and do big jumps which i always used to do when i was a kid now the daredevil skydiver figure is a repaint of the white um, Daredevil Skydiver figure uh, around the same time as White with Stars on him. He was a really cool and a popular figure. Like I said, it came with some really cool accessories. We got the uh, kayak, which I don't know if the kayak came with any other sets besides this one. Um, of course, the 318, really cool paint motif. And the figure here would fit in the kayak like so. And you could snap in his oar. Or paddle I guess and uh, on a really nice rainy day you go outside and send him down the gutter when the water is really flowing and f send him all the way down to the drain until you see a creepy clown who uh, tries to get you to climb in the drain with him because apparently everybody floats down there <laughs> man what a creepy show that was it also came with this really cool parachute and parachute holder or parachute bag i guess um the parachute is also a holdover from the daredevil skydiver daredevil skydiver set say that 20 times and it came in a different color the white yellow orange and also featured a black instead of a blue harness here and of course this guy uh, the daredevil skydiver could take this here my brothers and i all had each had one of these figures when we were little. We used to go out and throw them in the air all the time on a boring summer day or fall day. And of course, there you go, you got the harness. So you can uh, put him in there, wad your chute up like so, and take him outside and throw him in the air and do a bunch of parachuting until you get sick of it. And you saw the short where me and my son did that this past spring. And if you guys been watching the channel lately, you know that I wadded up a parachute and drop it off a 70 foot ranger tire and it did not work out very well that's what happens sometimes uh, but you live and you learn but yeah this was a great set i used to love uh playing with this set when i was a kid and it's one of the more, more fonder memories i had as a child was playing with my adventure people uh, daredevil stunt set I had a lot of adventure people um, sets and figures when I was a kid. I wish I still had them all because uh, my son likes these a lot. And uh, they're just a really cool set. All right, guys, there you have it. So this is my collection of uh, vintage Fisher Price adventure people figures and sets. Uh, the Daredevil stunt set, stunt van or whatever, and the Northwoods adventure set. Two iconic sets from the late 70s for the Fisher Price adventure people. I really wish um these were still around i wish fisher price would come out with a brand new um set of these and just keep the same style and everything i think it'd really resonate with kids nowadays but um sadly maybe those days have passed uh, this really opened up a lot of kids imaginations including myself i played with these things for hours and hours when i was a kid and several of them even made it into my gi joe um play when i was a kid as well because the figures were around the same size so a really, really cool set and a really, really cool line of figures. And I really guys hope you guys really enjoyed my uh, collection close-up of these. Uh, let me know in the comments if you had Adventure People. I know a lot of you guys did what your favorite set was. And uh, hit the notification icon. Subscribe to the page, please. Like this video. It helps my channel out a lot. And in the meantime, guys, keep living the adventure. And cheers.